Hey everybody, Jason here again with the GDT Basics video question line. Today's topic is how to find zero. The question that was submitted is how do I find the origin or the zero of a part? So let's take a look at this example drawing we have here to see what we can do in order to find the zero of this part or the origin of the part. Now, one thing I want to get out of the way here before we get started is there's not necessarily only one zero to a single part, right? Uh, for this example specifically, there will be because there's only one datum reference frame. And what do I mean by that is there's ABC here, ABC here, ABC here. And generally all over the drawing, we see the datum reference frame A, B, and C. This datum reference frame is a fully constrained datum reference frame that locks in all six degrees of freedom. Uh, it utilizes datum feature A, which is this top surface here, datum feature B, which is this through hole right here, and datum feature C, identified here, which is a mid plane. So the combination of this plane, this cylinder, and this plane as datum features create a datum reference frame that gives us a 0, 0, 0 point. So all datum reference frames are are trying to create is a zero, zero, zero point. So if we picture three mutually orthogonal planes, those two intersecting here, and then we have one down here that is creating that last zero right here at this point. So we can picture X positive, Y positive, and Z positive. Those datum features here create this datum reference frame that sets the zero, zero, zero for this part. And the reason I want to get this out of the way is because if this part has a single datum reference frame, does that mean all parts have a singular datum reference frame or a single zero zero point? And the answer is no. Uh, some complex parts might, might utilize two datum reference frames. Some complex parts might actually utilize dozens. Um, and so it just depends on the complexity of the part, how the designer was using those datum reference frames to create it. So really what we need to ask is, What's the zero or origin of any given feature control frame? So what I would recommend doing is zeroing in on a single uh, feature control frame and understanding where it's zero, zero, zero is. And then if it's the same datum reference frame set up for any of the other features, it's the same origin for those features as well. So for this scenario, let's start out with identifying the zero, zero, zero created by datum reference frame A, B, C. So again, I mentioned A was this top surface here. So we can see that we have this top surface identified as one of those planes. So we'll draw that plane right here. So now we have one translation locked in, a rotation locked in, and another rotation locked in. But we haven't fully defined our zero, zero, zero yet. It could be over here, it could be over here, it could be over here, it could be over here. So what we do is then we introduce datum feature B. Datum feature B is this uh, cylinder that goes through the center of this hole. Datum feature B is a cylinder, but the datum is the axis of that cylinder. So the datum creates an axis. So now we know that that axis is perpendicular to datum feature A. So we create datum axis B. That axis can exist here. That axis can exist here or here or here. And that's fine. That axis is going to go through and be perpendicular to the datum plane. So that's great, we've locked in translation this way, this way, this way, and this way, and A could not control that, so we've added some control. Now we know where zero, zero, zero is, and it's at least at this point. But what we haven't done is locked in that rotation around this axis, or in other words, we haven't defined if this plane exists here, right? These two planes exist here, or if they exist at some other rotation, maybe they exist here, and then in and out of the page, right? Uh, where do those planes exist? We need to lock that rotation in by introducing the last datum, which is the mid plane of this feature. So by doing that, we've locked in and said, hey, we know this plane right here is going to be created by the mid plane of this feature. And now since we have an axis, this plane and this plane here, we know that that third mutually orthogonal plane has to be mutually orthogonal 
or perpendicular, but it has to go through that datum axis from datum feature B. And so we can picture this. We know our 0, 0, 0 is where all of these planes intersect, right? And so we can find our 0, 0, 0 right on the drawing, again, on this plane, in line with this axis, and through this center point. So it's going to be right here, and it's going to be right here as well. So if we do the plane from the top down, uh, we can see that our 0, 0, 0 is right at the center of this cylinder on this plane. And we also have control of anything around that axis because we've identified this mid plane. So quickly identifying where your 0, 0, 0 is and the orientations of everything. So not just the translations in X, Y, and Z, but also making sure you know the orientations and what features set the 0 for that orientation, right, uh, is very important when we're inspecting anything that's utilizing that datum reference frame. And again, I want to reiterate that a single part doesn't necessarily have to have one zero zero zero, right? Uh, it can have multiple origins if there are multiple datum reference frames created. But again, make sure the origin you're trying to find is directly derivative of the datum reference frame you're interpreting. So hopefully that answers your question and thanks for submitting. Our goal is to be your best source for GDNT information online. It's important to us that everyone involved in engineering and manufacturing have the chance to learn and better understand GDNT on your prints. We have many free resources to help you get started on your learning journey. Subscribe to our GDNT community using the link in the description below or visit our website. Test your knowledge with our GDNT and print reading quizzes, download helpful charts, and access articles written by our training experts.